Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and today we're making something that I think would be really cool for like a football party or a holiday party. You know, whether you're doing it in person or virtual, whatever, whatever you want. We're making scotch eggs. My buddy Ryan G over at Ryan G's Barbecue and Stuff did this and I thought I've got to make these because I've done them before. Now there's several different ways of making scotch eggs, but the biggest thing is, is that yolk inside of the egg. Some people like it runny, that's cool. I don't have a problem with that at all. I like mine solid, so let's get to doing it. All right, we're gonna turn on the pallet grill to 250. As you notice, we don't have the prep table in front of us because it's really cold outside and we're gonna do the prep inside. Let's go guys. Well, we are inside and this is how an egg should look after you roll it up. And I'm gonna show you how to roll it up. Just gonna take some ground pork, roll it up into a ball, all right? Just like that. Kind of smash it down. Put this over like so. Smash it down some more. Looking good. Now I've already boiled eggs and nobody needs to see that. If you want me to do an episode, be more than happy to. But I'm gonna flatten this out just a little bit more. And I peeled the egg. Nobody really wants to see that. If you want an episode, we can do that. But pretty simple, just like this. Squeeze off the sides, roll it like so. Now actually I learned this from Ryan G, from Ryan G's barbecue and stuff that I mentioned earlier. I thought this was a cool idea because I used to just pack it around it, but I thought, man, this is a really cool idea on how to do this. And take it. I'm gonna form it around a little bit. Looks good. Wrap it. Smash it down. Peel back. Take our egg, put it in the center. Grab the egg. Just start rolling, just like that. There we go, we have all three. Now because the scotch egg is so large, all three of them are so large, I'm gonna use three eggs for this. Yeah, it's pretty simple, right? Put your three eggs in there, whisk it up. This is gonna be our dredge for it. If we need more eggs, you know what? We can always add more. So now I have a thing of panko breadcrumbs, and this is the Italian flavored. Pour a whole thing in like so. I'm gonna take some Uncle Steve's, the sweet and the spicier, and put some in with it. I think it's gonna really add some good flavor to this. You put in as much as you want. Mix it up in there. Clean things up a little bit. I think it is time to start putting these together. First thing we do, just like that, give it a good coat. Into the panko it goes. Make sure it stays together. But you want a really nice coat. That is a good coat right there. And it's just like rinse and repeat. Put it through your dredge. Let's take this out. Cover it up real good. Make sure it doesn't fall apart. Cover it up really, really good. Looking awesome, guys. And one last time. Into the panko and Uncle Steve's it goes. Make sure it doesn't fall apart. There we go. That is a good looking scotch egg. You know what time it is now? Let's take it to the pellet grill and let's cook them up. We are back outside. Time to put our scotch eggs on here. Very carefully. We don't want to lose any of that panko. We're 
We're gonna cook this up now to 165 at least. Now, no episode is complete without a fridge of fame moment, and that's exactly what we have. We have two stickers here. Actually, one is a magnet, and the first one is from my buddy in Texas, Grumpus on Fire. His magnet's gonna go right there, and we'll get a close up of that. Second one we're doing is my buddy Ryan G, who's up here. He has a barbecue talk show that is on 1 p.m. Oh no, sorry, 1.30 p.m. Mountain Time every Friday. And it's a great show. It's kind of a sister show to mine. And what mine is, is uh, the Wednesday night barbecue and talk show where we have guests just like Ryan does. We have the White Russian cam and it's just lots of fun. We always have at least one guest, sometimes two. Anyhow, Ryan's barbecue talk show goes right there and I'm gonna put a link down below let's get a close-up of these there you have it this is the fridge of fame and as you can see grumpus on fires down below right next to the barbecue talk show that my buddy Ryan hosts we've got so many cool people out there if you guys are interested in having your sticker on the fridge of fame look for our email link below we can arrange something we have stickers as well that is your fridge of fame moment back to cooking our timer just went off for 40 minutes let's check them out now i did flip these things at 20 minutes looks like we're sitting at about 150 160 about 158 about a hundred oh that one looks like it's done let's move that one off to the side although I am curious let's see what the, the other side says on it oh, close enough for government work Yeah, sitting at about 170. I like it. These two are still coming along. They're keeping together really well. We're going to give them another 10 minutes and then check them out. Be right back. It's been 10 minutes. Time to check these out. And we know that one's done. This one's running. Uh, 158, 159. I was running at 176. Okay, that's that's good. Let's move this one over. But I'm a little concerned about this third one. not quite there so I'm move it over flip it that looks really good we're gonna give it another 10 minutes to see if this last one finally finishes up well our alarm just went off for another 10 minutes we know these are done let's check out this one looks like we're hitting at about 156 about 162 in the back but we know these are done so let's take these off let's let this one continue to cook that'll be just an added bonus later on let me tell you those look amazing guys all right let's let these rest for about 10 minutes and then I think it's time to try to eat them it's been about 10 minutes I cut this in half because I wanted to show you guys the inside look at that man that oh smells so good i think it's trying to uh give it a shot mm. this is money everything about this comes together mm. you know you got the egg in there get the flavor of that you definitely get the pork 
but what really shines through is that Italian panko and the Uncle Steve's, the sweet and the spicier. That stuff shines through this, and man, it adds just a ton of flavor. Mmm. This is definitely worth making, 100%. Be a hit at any party. All right, recipes down below, guys. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell, share. Remember, we have the Wednesday night barbecue and talk show on the Dude's Kitchen and Grill on YouTube every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Mountain, 9 p.m. Eastern. We've got guests, current events, collaborations, news, you name it. We got it, guys. All right. I hope everybody has a great week. Remember, the dude abides this time with a scotch egg. Talk to you later, guys. Mm.